Welcome back to Local SEO Tactics, where we bring you tips and tricks to help you get found online. I'm your host, Jesse Dolan, here again with Bob Brennan Howdy. in studio and all of its glamour. Um, happy to bring you guys some more content here talking about SEO. And this episode here, we're going to be talking about reviews. Uh, it's been a while since we really talked about reviews. Yep. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know uh, it's an extremely important part of your SEO. We've dedicated multiple episodes to this. Uh, we've talked about the importance of getting reviews. And I should pause. We're talking about reviews on your Google My Business profile, to be specific. You know, get reviews on Yelp, get reviews on Google, and all that stuff's great. Um, but as many as you can uh, direct to your GMB, your Google My Business, um, getting reviews there is what I'm talking about here and what yep. we're talking about um, for these previous episodes. Uh, so anyways, we've talked about the importance of getting them, some tactics on how to get more of them. Uh, we've talked about, uh, how to leverage those reviews. If you want to maybe enter into another uh, sector of business that you haven't done before, uh, review clout is what we talked about on that. And I'm going to link to all of those in the show notes, uh, for anybody maybe jumping in and not having that history. Um, it's important to get some of that context, uh, for why reviews are so important here for your SEO, because, uh, reviews in the SEO world, you're not doing anything to your website. You're not doing anything for optimization or, or keywords or things like that directly. Um, but they do have a, a benefit to your your rankings and your conversions and overall your business, which at the end of the day, we're talking about SEO here to, like we've said before, make your phone ring and your email ding. Yep. And reviews are an extremely important part of having that happen. So I'm not going to get into all those features and benefits of the GMB reviews and everything else. Um, but please, if you haven't, check those previous episodes out to really set you up right on this. So what we're talking about here today is getting photos submitted with your reviews. Um, that's a new feature. I'm trying to remember if it's been in the last uh, few weeks or month or so here. Um, it came out a little bit ago, but with uh, coronavirus, here it is uh, June 15th when we're recording this episode. Yeah. Uh, reviews in your Google My Business pretty much ground to a halt for a few months there. And it's all released now. Um, if, if you've been getting reviews, you've probably noticed that uh, as you get them, they're published. You know, they're not being held back. Um, so things are kind of back to normal on that front. Uh, so we wanted to make sure we highlight um, one of those uh, newer features that's been released with reviews recently, uh, which is getting a photo uploaded with it. So we're going to talk about that as a feature, uh, how to leverage that in the uh, the benefits that you can gain in doing that here. Uh, before we go there totally, I have to mention, if you have not used our free instant SEO audit tool, go on out to the website, localseotactics.com. I think Bob's doing it right now if you're watching on the video. <laughs> he's he's going to run an audit right now. Um, and plug in your website uh, page or a competitor page and plug in your keyword that you want to score it against and it's going to give you a great punch list of um, all the areas on site of your your web page or your competitors page that you're looking um, for how it's optimized for that keyword and give you a punch list at the bottom for things to tackle and uh, take care of that and again it's free use it as much as you want meaning uh, if you get a score of let's say 50 out of 100 you make some tweaks and some changes go back see what it upgraded you maybe you're at 70 now you know and and, and sure. how it changes so Use that as often as you want, totally free, localseotactics.com, top right corner, big yellow button, instant SEO audit. Uh, check that out. That's where it begins. That's where it begins. Um, so, okay, back to the topic at hand, which is getting reviews. So what's cool about this is um, you want to get as many reviews as you can, right? But now uh, customers, clients, whatever, uh, can attach a photo to that review. And that photo... Um, gets populated on your Google My Business profile uh, for photos. And we've also talked in previous episodes the importance of getting photos uploaded to your GMB. So kind of in the past, customers could leave a review. Customers could submit a photo independently of each other. Uh, both are great benefits. You can yep. keep doing both of them, even if you can't get a review with a photo here. But the new thing now is when somebody leaves a review, they can also attach a photo with it. So... I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of a photo hitting your GMB, and then we're going to come back to some ideas on how you can encourage customers uh, to leave uh, to do a photo at the same time. Um, but the benefits of that photo are going to be, first, Google knows now, uh, in the last year and change here with their advanced uh, machine learning and AI, um, they know what a stock photo is or a photo maybe taken off your website and things like that versus original content they can not only know that it's stock photo or not, they can also identify elements within that photo. 
um, so they can draw relevancy, right? So if you're selling red balloons and a customer's gonna upload a photo, I mean, you wanna get them to take a photo of the red balloon because Google will be able to recognize it's a balloon and that it's red, right? I'm using a stupid, you know, simple example there. Um, but quite frankly, uh, it's called Google Vision AI. We've mentioned it on the show multiple times. Uh, that technology is out there and Google is using that to help um, understand the intent of searches and kind of match, you know, what Bob might be searching for with the results they're going to provide him. Because again, to reiterate at the end of the day, that's where Google makes money is being a good search engine that we use to find things. So the more they can do to evolve and adapt to make sure they're giving you what you're looking for, um, you're going to keep coming back and then they can charge advertisers, you know, uh, to advertise on there. And that's how they make their money ultimately. So in using the, uh, the photo AI that they've developed, they can really start to understand more about what a business is and what a business has, not just what we're typing into our web pages, but by analyzing the images that are on our website or on our GMBs. So that's important to know because you say, well, what does a photo matter? Who cares? Uh, Google cares, yeah. you know, and they're using that photo, just like the text in the review uh, to parse out who you are, what you do, and uh, then match you with people that are searching. And they want to see that customer engagement, right? Uh, yeah, even more so. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, that is a great point. That is a great point because if people are doing that, they're way more engaged. I suppose to break that down, you can leave just a star rating and not even have to type out a review, right? right. Um, that'd be like minimal engagement, let's say. Um, star rating plus typed out a review. And then add a photo to the end for kind of a third option. Yeah, you're way more engaged as a customer. Yeah, and, and when you say AI, I mean, I mm -hmm. think my mind goes to a place where, like, you know, it's HAL 10, 000, or 2001 Space Odyssey or whatever yeah. the deal is. And it's just this super, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's sophisticated. But in some ways, you know, you can define AI as did they leave a star review? Mm -hmm. Did they write something in? And did they take a picture? And yeah. then it's as simple as that, yep. right? Not to mention what I'm not saying you yep. what you're not talking what you're talking about in terms of recognizing stock photo photography or, or you know pre made photography, mm -hmm. you know that's sophisticated and pretty cool. Yeah, but it can be as simple as this is the level of engagement. Yep, and and if what I think what they're trying to prove out is, you know how much of this is um, legit, right? Yep, and more legitimate it is, the more i.e. the more legitimate your business is, and therefore will give you a higher rank within the the uh, three pack, for instance. Right? Correct. So, and I think you bring up a good point too. And I've had this talk with customers. Um, yeah, artificial intelligence. And if you heard me, I say AI slash machine learning, right? right. And I, I actually like that machine learning. I think is more descriptive and helps helps people understand because, yeah, it's not some actual intelligent or sentient kind of you know right. robot in the background right. doing this. It's more about instead of a hundred human beings mashing on a type a keyboard, not a typewriter, but a keyboard, um, you know, you can program the computer to do these functions way quicker and right. parse out that data. And if you have a machine do something over and over and over and over again enough, they'll understand where anomalies and variations come in and then be able to kind of adapt. And that's the learning you know, part of the machine there. So yeah, we're not talking about any kind of sophisticated intelligence compared to our brains. Uh, what we're talking about is something that can kind of really analyze and assess things yeah. and, and, and make assumptions better. So um, very, very good point to make. So uh, again, using that machine learning and that AI, um, yeah, they can see that you're a legitimate business. They can see what your business is about. Um, I've used the example before. We have multiple times the uh, searcher intent. You know, if I'm searching for a wedding band, do I mean the musical band that plays at my wedding or do I mean the ring that goes on the finger? Um, you know, a photo of those two things, if you can imagine, and if Google could understand, you know, those two photos, which they can now, that that makes that intent not even a guess anymore. If if people are uploading photos of your band playing at weddings, right. Google will definitely get more relevance and knowledge about you, you know, being in a band, you know, not selling rings. So um, that's kind of the importance of the photo attaching uh, uh, in, in that regards for like the visual part. Uh, there's also um, some location data that passes through on that photo. Now, there's definitely some speculation out there in the SEO world on how much of that actually passes through. Um, but that data is real. If you take a picture on your phone, um, there's like a, I guess called like a GPS coordinate stamp that's on there that tells, you know, date, time, location. And that's relevant too. whether you, know, if you do field service uh, for for your customers or maybe you're a uh, uh, provide tours, you know, or limousine service or things like that. Um, in that case, 
you can kind of help define your service area, right? Like if you're getting photos all around the metro area or, you know, certain radius, um, Google can also understand your customers are kind of in this zone. Um, if you have a storefront where people are coming to you, you know, they're, sh they're showing that multiple people are coming there and kind of yeah. originating from the same spot. So uh, it's not just the actual image part. It's some of that micro data that's attached to that file um, as well. That's going to be relevant. Um, so that's kind of the background on, you know, attaching photos with the reviews, kind of some of the technical stuff on how Google sees that and what it means. Um, now we want to shift gears a little bit and talk about how to get photos with those reviews. So uh, first things first is you have to have a plan, like we've talked before, to get a review, right? Um, it should be a goal, pretty much what? Every customer, we just say, not to be too overbearing for people, but yeah, you yeah. Ask. I mean, you, it, you got to ask every customer because, you know, what would you say? Six out of 10 people have a Gmail account, maybe? Yeah, that's a good number, more than, more than you might think. So, so yeah, so it's a, you know, it's a process. Yep. So if you don't ask, if you ask 10 people, Hopefully six have a Gmail account, mm -hmm. and out of those six, hopefully four will leave a review. So it's a it's a numbers game. If you don't ask, or if you just wish they'd leave a review because you're a nice guy, well, guess what? That ain't gonna happen, right? Because we're just, fortunately, as a society, we're negatively oriented. In order to pull the best out of people, you're gonna have to ask. Yep. But you also obviously you need to execute good service. Right. So. And I just checked real quick. Uh, just quick Google search. 1.5 billion users on Gmail. And that's just Gmail. Like some people, like I have Google accounts for doing our SEO stuff. Right. I don't actually use Gmail. Right. I mean, so there's going to be more people with Google accounts even overall. Um, I don't know how that compares, you know, to per capita, but it, it says here that it dominates consumer email, right? So. Well, one thing, I'll just look this up. Mm -hmm. um, 2.8 billion people don't have flush toilets. <laughs> huh? So, I mean, you, you know, I'm not trying mean? to merge that together. There, well, but... <laughs> I'm a Cliff Clavin of stupid facts. So, I mean, the, the point is ask, if you don't ask, you don't get Yeah. It. Right. So, um, you have to try to get incorporated into your process. I should say, um, asking to, to get a review. If you're, if you're, if you're engaging with your customers in any kind of a, you know, fixed timeline here, or there's a follow-up, um, we even encourage customers to tell people that you're going to ask for a review kind of like, Hey, I'm going to provide you this service, or I'm going to sell you this product, or I'm going to deliver this widget, whatever it is. When I'm done, my goal is to get you to leave me a five-star review on Google. That's how we do business. That's how we get business. And it's important to us. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you that at the end. Yep. Um, that doesn't mean you have to offer them some kind of huge incentive or coupon or, or, or things like that. Um, just, we found setting the stage and letting them know you're going to ask for this, um, can increase your conversion rate, I guess, call yep. it conversion rate for getting those reviews. So first things first, have a plan to get reviews. Now start incorporating a plan for getting a photo with that review. And depending on what your product or service is, you know, kind of get creative, uh, I was talking with a gentleman a while back um, that did have a tour service and told him, you know, if there's scenic spots that your customers are jumping out right now that you're kind of showcasing for the cityscape or something else and they're taking photos anyways, let them know like, hey, we're going to get to a few cool spots up here. Uh, take some photos. Um, I'd like to get a review from you, too, at yeah. that point and just kind of work it in there. Um, and encourage that if you're a retail store, you know, maybe there's a, a certain spot on the store you want to have them um, uh, take a photo, right? Um, or you take their photo and a certain backdrop, whatever it is, be strategic about it. Understanding again that Google can kind of understand the content of that photo, the location of that photo, um, and then associate it with the text uh, that the person is going to leave in that review, which segues to um, the other topic, not photo related, but again, the, the, the language of that review, um, helping to describe the product, the service, yep. uh, your company, the geographic location that they either came from or you're going to, you know, if that's relevant, um, still incorporate all that best practices of getting review. Um, even if you're not, I should say previous to getting a photo, do that stuff still. It's extremely yeah. important and now add a photo to it. Yeah. And the way I line it up is I ask them, do you have, can I ask you, do you have a Gmail account? Perfect. Yep. And if they say yes, say, hey, um, I need you to help my business out. Either either things are going to help my business. One, at the end of this service, um, if you 
can't leave us a five-star review. I need to know what I can correct in the future, okay? Because obviously you don't want to ask somebody to leave a review if you didn't, right. didn't give them the proper service. And that in turn will help you perform ser the service properly or better yep. for the next customer. So maybe you didn't get a review, but at least you got a pointer from the customer on what you needed to change. And then if they can leave a review, it's a five-star review, and then you just keep pushing it a little bit and just yep. saying, hey, can you, would you mind taking a photo of me and your Belabushki furnace or whatever the deal is, yep. right? That um, that helps the the um, the SEO process. Absolutely. Or even mention the fact that you're in a certain city or whatever the deal is. That might be a city you're trying to get more work in. Yep. That's that's near uh, your home office or, or what have you. And uh, that's a great point there, Bob. Is so in general, you want to do this, right? Yep. But let's be real. Uh, we're all human beings. Our team members are human beings, and everything else. And you definitely have to remind yourself and your team members to get reviews, right? So it's going to ebb and flow yeah. with the the, uh, the amount of success you're having there. Definitely be aware of those geographic areas. You either want more business from or you want to be going to for business, you know, depending on what your business needs are. And uh, where needed, call out special effort, you know, for those areas because you're going to find that it doesn't happen overnight, um, but it's going to make um, the needle move for you uh, in those markets. Uh, so definitely leverage that. Uh, and then the last point I wanted to make is understanding that, again, when somebody leaves a review, attaches a photo, that photo hits your GMB photo area. So, again, in the past, they could leave, a customer could leave a review, and a customer could also upload a photo to your GMB. Now, when they do that, um, it's kind of a combo doing them both at the same time. That's good for your GMB um, in kind of on its own right, too, if they uh, attach a photo with your review. Um, you're going to add more photos to your GMB. Um, that gives more engagement opportunities for people that are checking out your GMB, provides more um, kind of real world, you know, exposure and engagement shows people, you know, that people are taking photos. If anybody's ever looked through photos on maybe a restaurant or something else, you can kind of tell what was maybe a professional photo from the, uh, the owner or the establishment yeah. versus user submitted stuff. And uh, more user submitted stuff really just shows, you know, that action and that activity. And if you go into your GMB uh, panel, there's a spot down at the bottom where you can check in your insights, how many photos you have uploaded and shared, or I should say that are uploaded and shared on your GMB, even if you didn't do them yourself, um, against other businesses. So Google historically has called out the importance of how, having photos on your GMB. Now, if customers are doing a review, they can add a photo and kind of give you a bump there too. So uh, really a great uh, evolution of the reviews and of the GMB. Um, so definitely take advantage here. Yeah. Keep getting reviews. you got to start there. And now start asking for a photo uh, to be attached on them as well. Yeah, and just a, just a tip too when you're working with your team. Um, it's a lot like golf. I mean, you can't expect to go up and hit the ball off the tee 200, 300 yards at right. a time. And it's, it's just focusing on one thing. So maybe it's just keeping your head down for, you know, couple right. of swings and then adding you know another thing in this case it might be pitchers or whatever the deal is with your team you you really can't strong arm them and get them to do everything you need them to do like right out of the bat yep. it's it's going to take you know 20 30 reviews to get them to a point where they're getting all the right stuff yep. and you got to figure out a way to review or not review but reward your team somehow off the grid in terms of you know incentivizing them to do it in my opinion so yeah, and a great way to close this out is mentioning what Bob just said to incentivize your team. Something we coach everybody to do is um, when you're asking for those reviews, like Bob said, first things first, make sure you tell that customer, you can help me and my business by leaving a review, yeah. and then get them to mention your name or that team member's name. Um, you know, if I'm talking to, to you out there, I say, hey, leave us a review, mention my name so my boss sees, you know, me, that it mentions me, because then, you know, He's going to give me some kudos or a pat on the back or whatever it is. And then you internally, when you get alerted that you're getting these reviews, um, that's your scorecard. You just yeah. you just log them like that. So uh, that's an important part. And from the consumer side, we've talked with people and there's this sentiment. This is kind of an opinion here, but when you're reading reviews and uh, individuals are mentioned in that review, it for it for me and for other people, it seems realer, you know, like these aren't fake reviews, you right. know, these are legitimate. They've mentioned the people that work there and uh, that helps, helps really kind of um, put the point home. So uh, that's pretty much it for that topic. Get more reviews, get photos on the reviews and uh, pump up that GMB and you're going to find that it moves the needle for you. Oh yeah. 
Uh, let's get into our five-star review of the week. Uh, we got a great five-star review here from JF0000T. Awesome. This podcast is awesome and gives you real advice. As a small business owner, I found so many of these strategies to really move the needle forward. Uh, perfect. Move the needle. We said that like 17 times yeah. probably in this right. episode. So perfect uh, review, ironically, there. Uh, but thanks for that. It's what we're trying to do. Share tips and strategies to help you move the needle in your business. That's what it's all about. It's not about um, you know any design awards or kind of cool tactics and, and accolades. This is about getting more business uh, out there in the real world You know, um, to hit our bank account. So uh, glad to hear that that's helping you. Everybody else, love to get a review from you. Go to yep. localseotactics.com. Bottom left corner, check out reviews or leave us a review, and uh, that's how it helps to uh, spread the show, to to share the um, the show and experiences. And, and if we keep getting them, we're going to keep reading them. So we really appreciate that. Until um, next time, that's that should take care of it here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.